Hello there, welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. This is a BTEC applied science and it's unit five chemistry. We're going to look at how we name haloalkanes using the IUPAC rules. So this comes under learning aim A2, right there, it's the IUPAC nomenclature. Now, if you haven't seen previous videos on the introduction to alkanes and alkenes, which introduces organic chemistry, there's then a video that looks at how we name alkanes. There's then a, another video that looks at naming alkenes before we move on to this video today where we're going to look at the naming of halo alkanes. So by the end of this video, you're going to be able to name these three molecules here. We're going to use these as examples. I'm then going to give you a couple more for you to name. And then there's going to be um, an extra task at the end where we look at how we draw a molecule from its name. First up though, if you don't already subscribe, please do. Your support is very much appreciated. And also use the comments and the like features to let me know what you think. So from previous videos, we've seen that there's three parts to a name. There's the suffix which comes at the end. And we've seen for alkanes and alkenes that that can change between ane and ene. We have the middle part of the name, which is known as the stem. And that's the number of carbons in the chain, the longest chain possible, but that chain must contain the functional group. And then we have a prefix. Now we're introducing some more prefixes in this video. So haloalkanes are a little bit different in the fact that a haloalkane is identified using a prefix and not a suffix. So a haloalkane, we would name it as an alkane and we would identify the halogen or the halo group with a prefix. So some examples of names would be 2-iodopentane. You can see the red is the prefix. That's telling us that there's an iodine on the second carbon. We've got pent, which is a five carbon chain, and it's an alkane. And there's a slightly more complicated one. We are going to look at those two names at the end of this video to see if we can draw them. The easiest thing for us to do then is to look at some examples. So we'll start with this one and we'll, we'll make it progressively more difficult. So... The first thing we do is we recognize this as a haloalkane because it's an alkane. It only contains carbon carbon single bonds and there's a halogen on this chain and the halogen being bromine here. So we look for the longest possible chain, which is three this way. We could possibly see that there's a three chain this way, but they both have the same name and we'll have a look at both of them. So let's look at the yellow chain. Let's number them one, two, three. And we can also number them in reverse. One, two, three. So this is propane. So we name it as an alkane, which is propane. And then we need to identify the functional group and the side chain, because the propane bit is this bit here. So we have two extra bits stuck to it. We've got a bromine group and a methyl group. OK, so we've got a bromo and we've got a methyl. Both of them appear on carbon number two. So we're going to call this 2-bromo-2-methyl-propane. Now, strictly speaking, we should go in alphabetical order, which is why I've put the B before the methyl. B becomes before M in the alphabet. So it's alphabetical order. 2-bromo-2-methyl-propane. If we were to go down the red route, so if we were to name it down that red chain, we will see it has the exact same name. And I'll prove that. Let me just get rid of some of the yellow. So if we go down this red route, we've got one, two, three. And again, in reverse, one, two, three. So this time, this is the chain here. And again, it's still propane. And we've got two groups attached to that. We've got a CH3, which is a methyl and a bromo. So again, we've got bromo and methyl. And again, they're both attached to number two and using alphabetical order, two bromo, two methyl, propane, same name. Slightly more difficult example then. Let's have a look at this one. So identify the longest carbon chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, it is tempting to go with that six, actually, but our functional group is here, look. It's a haloalkane. It's got a chlorine. And if I pick this six carbon chain here, then it doesn't include the functional group. So I can't use that chain because I have to include the functional group within that chain. So 
it's either 1, 2, 3, 4, or 1, 2, 3, 4. And we've already established that it doesn't matter which way we do that. Okay, so I'm just going to use the yellow one. So I'm going to number them. 1, 2, 3, 4, and again in reverse. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I've got to use the smallest numbers, remember. I've got two side chains here. I've got a chloro and I've got an ethyl. That's an ethyl side chain and we've got a chloro. Now what's my possible numbers? It's 1, 2 or 3, 4. So 1, 2 is going to win. And I'm going to go in alphabetical order again. So it's 1, chloro, 2, ethyl, butane. My longest chain was four. One dash chloro, two dash ethyl. The dashes and the commas, there is, you know, there is a specific order they're supposed to go in, but ultimately the correct name is one chloro, two ethyl butane. Don't get yourself too hung up on your dashes and your commas. Mark schemes will accept the name. Next one then, definitely more difficult here. So we can see it's a halo alkane. I can see that I've got a bromo group here, I've got a fluoro group over here, and a chloro group over here. So now to identify my longest carbon chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's my seven carbon chain. And there's a methyl group up here. So it's seven. Let's number it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And in reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we've got a chloro group over here. We've got a fluoro group here. We've got a methyl group here. And a bromo group over here. And we know it's going to be heptane because it's seven carbons long. Now, Looking at the numbers, it's either 1, 2, 4, 6, so it's either 1, 2, 4, 6, or 2, 4, 6, 7. Now, strictly speaking, I, I well, first of all, I don't think you'll be asked anything as near as difficult as this in your BTEC um, Unit 5 exam. Secondly, if you were to get the numbers a little mixed up on such a difficult example like this, I do believe the mark scheme would probably allow it. However, the lowest numbers possible, I think, here is the 1 chloro the 2 fluoro, the 4 methyl, and the 6 bromo. So alphabetical order here. I'm going with 6 bromo for B. I'm then going to go with 1 chloro for C. And then I'm going with 2 fluoro. Done that one. And then 4 methyl. I've made a bit of a mess down the bottom here. So it's 6 bromo, 1 chloro, 2 fluoro, 4 methyl, heptane. Bit of a mouthful. And as I've said, that's definitely beyond the expectation within your Unit 5 exam. A couple for you to have a go at then that I think would be realistic on your exam. So I'm going to suggest you pause the video and when you're ready to see the answers, unpause. I'm going to start with this one at the top then. It's a three carbon chain. The only side group we've got is a bromo. So this is going to be either one, two, three, one, two, three. So this is one bromo propane. A little bit more difficult then for the second one. Longest carbon chain. So it's a chloro, it's a halo alkane again. Going to go with one, two, three, four. So it's a butane, there's a methyl and a chloro. It's one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to call this two chloro, three methyl, butane. Now if you were to have called this 3-chloro-2-methylbutane, again, 
I believe that would be accepted on your mark scheme in your BTEC exam. And had you not put them in alphabetical order, so let's just say you went with 3-methyl-2-chloro, again, that will be accepted on your BTEC mark scheme. It's basically, are you getting these names correct? Are you following the rules? Those kind of finer details in the BTEC exam would be allowed as the mark. Last thing then. Let's see if you can draw these two molecules. I'm going to suggest again you pause it, and when you want to see the answers, unpause. 2 iodopentane. So pentane, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's a 5 carbon chain. And there's an iodine on the second carbon. The rest then will all be hydrogens. You might remember my rule from the previous video double check that every carbon always has four bonds don't accidentally miss a hydrogen off there we go there so that's two iodopentane next one pent one ene oh hang on a minute so here we've got two functional groups look we've got an ene and we've got some haloalkane so this is a really difficult one let's do pent one ene first though one two three four five so pent one ene is a five carbon chain with a double bond between the first and second carbons and then we've got 4, 4 dibromo, so 1, 2, 3, there's the fourth carbon there, and there's two bromines on it. And it's telling us there's a 3 on the third carbon, there's a chloro, so there we go. Now tidy up by making sure I've got hydrogens in all the other possible carbon bonds, being super careful that the carbons either side of the double bond only have two bonds, because each carbon must have four, remember, and that double bond counts as two. So there we have 4, 4, dibromo, 3, chloro, pent, 1, ene. And that's it for this video, so thanks for watching.